Here is Dean Hadley. Heavy contact from John Davis, number 12. Hits hard, uses every ounce of his weight. Connor throws the long ball out to Josh Griffin, and Griffin carves his way back infield, carves his way through. He's got Connor in support. First try of the game will go to the black and whites. And uh, Jake Connor will claim it. Feniston Rovers desperately defending their line now. That's good pressure, but not good execution of the tackle. And Still going, Sikamanu stretches out. And does he get the ball down? He does. Featherston Rovers couldn't contain him. Two tackles gone. Bang in front of those posts. Here's Joe Westerman. Here's Jake Connor. There's another whole FC try. Ten minutes out as Hock plays the ball. Here's Ridyard. Ridyard. Thackeray. Bounces away from the first challenge and gets over the line. And Featherston Rovers hit back. And Anthony Thackeray, who's had a torrid evening at the other end of the field. At 30 metres out, as Hock passes the ball on, it's Thackeray now. And it's Hull's turn to defend. The ball's lost, and Jamie Shaw has the legs. Can he outpace the cover? Holmes is chasing him down, Holmes won't catch him, and Shaw makes the most of that opportunity. He hasn't put the ball down yet, he has now. Jordan Lane making his Three. Challenge Cup debut Three. for Hull FC as he comes into the action. Connor once more, Connor's pass for Griffin. Griffin just bulldozes his way through that Featherston Rovers defence, and they had no answer to his ferocity there. To Brooks on the 10-metre line. Here is Holmes, Thackeray, and he's at it in again. Briscoe gets the try he wanted to equal that record. Ten metres out now for Featherston Rovers. Looking to get the first points on the board in this second half. Ended a bit uh, fractiously at uh, the end of the first. Across the field they come with Holmes. Holmes long ball out wide. Second try is in for Briscoe. He reckons it is. And the referee does too. Talks about belief, John John Duffy. They must have more belief. Certainly got him over the trial line. Difficult one to deal with for sure. Oh, oh dear me. Tyler Papper arrived about two weeks Time too off. early. Oh. Did, he get, did he get the ball? He did. The, the ball, the ball hadn't even come down. I'll we'll have to see what the, the referee's interpretation oh, oh, is. It's just right in front of him. He's got a good view. Well, we know where this is going, don't we? Oh, we know where dreadful. this is going. Two okay. captains. It's a mistimed tackle, Miss okay. it's a penalty. His eyes are running That's up. it. Wow. A mistimed tackle? <laughs> You're not kidding. Now, here is Joe Westerman. Four. Move. Just five appearances he made for Toronto. The ball looped out wide, and Ferraimo cuts in field, gets the ball down, slithers over the try line, and... Hull have the answer despite all the questions being asked with the injuries to members of their side. They haven't oh. given this up yet. Gareth Hot looking up. around, appealing. Ridyard's pass, but it's a, a poor one, and Ferraimo snaps it up. Now Ferraimo has Talapapa chasing him. He's got Talapapa on his heels. Robinson trying to get there, but the USA International will just have too much. And he grabbed the chance at the other end of the field. I think uh, Featherston have a full compliment back on the field now. Oh, Litton oof, ducks under the challenge from Davis. That's yeah. going to be another penalty. Yeah, that's, that's, well, no, that's, that's, a, that's a right decision. They've only just got the, the one man back from the sim, but now they've lost another one. Wigan have, have uh, lost against Featherston Rovers. OK, that was... Back in 1952, but <laughs> and the slope was a bit more pronounced then. The referees called time off. Well, again. the touch has felt left out. I think he wants to get involved in the action as well. Danny Washbrook. Danny Washbrook. Yeah, Juice his knee in the tackle. Okay. And Danny Washbrook. It's Danny Washbrook. Who's going to go to the sim? Lockwood didn't have the pace to make most of the opportunity. Here's Holmes again. They will make the most of the opportunity this time, and Hock will celebrate with the try. Oh, Mr. Matongo is tipped on his back by 
Brad Knowles and uh, Brad. Brad. Up you go. Jake Connor up you go. didn't it like that. Up you go. Well, he's such a talented player, is Connor, but he, 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 he need this is the side of his game that, that I think undermines all the other stuff he does. He, yeah, he reacts to a foul play from the opposition, but just takes it that step too far. He's been, he's been responsible this evening for 18 of Hull's 38 points, plus two try assists. All that good work, and you, you threaten to undermine it and undo it by actions like that, unnecessary really, because the penalty was coming. It's one thing looking to defend a, a player, but there's no need to carry it on now. Well, here we go. Another one. It's fair enough. enough. It's fair enough. With two minutes to go. Jake! Jake. And Jake Connor is being summoned to the referee. Well, he might be going in the same direction. He, he is. Hold on, Bill. How many is that now? Is that five, five I think? It should have been six. Should have been six. Does that qualify as an ill-tempered game, Bill? Gamesmanship, should I say. Ooh, oh, dear right. me today. Oh, dear. Ferraimo has come flying in there. More like a flymo. Get away! Oh. And the referee stopped the clock again. 30 seconds to go. Does the referee bother putting the cards back in his pocket? Or... Hawk and Griffin going, oh, yes. Oh, well, there's there there we go. Go. That's the first punch that's been thrown all night. And it has been bubbling away for about an hour of this game. Scott Nikolaskis oh, has had that's a sorry, I'll tell you what, there, I'll tell you, he, won't, he won't play a Magic Weekend. Well, one or two and, others and, might not be and, making and the trip. They've had hard luck with injuries, they've had bad luck. That, again, is Six, dumb play right. by the player. Come here. It's direct contact with the head. There you go. There you go. And that about sums it up, doesn't it? Yeah, that's, that's, that's arguably the most costly action of the entire game. He's saying wow, and I'm not sure whether that's reference to the referee's decision or Pareto Faraimo's decision to fly in there and make direct contact with the head.